हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज वाई वी आर वेलकम टू वाई वी आर मैथ्स ट्यूटोरियल लाइक द प्रीवियस वन वी आर बैक अगेन विथ अनदर वीडियो फोकसिंग ऑन एन इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक सो फार वी हैव बीन इंटीग्रेटिंग सिंपल फंक्शंस नाउ वी शेल लर्न सम टेक्निक्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन व्हिच विल एनेबल अस टू इंटीग्रेट समवट मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फंक्शंस व्हिच वी एनकाउंटर इन मैथमेटिक्स so in this video i am going to discuss how to evaluate the integrals if it is in the form of integral ax plus b into over root cx plus d dx and integral ax plus b by root of cx plus d dx before going to evaluate these type of integrals you should know basic definitions and basic properties and basic formulas of indefinite integrals If you did not watch my earlier classes get the links from the description cards to understand the concept easily watch this video till the end let's start the discussion how to evaluate the given integral if it is in the form of integral ax plus b into over root cx plus d dx and integral ax plus b by over root cx plus d dx Before moving forward please subscribe our channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications of our latest updates In order to evaluate this type of integrals we should follow some algorithm So to evaluate this type of integrals I will give you one algorithm If we follow that algorithm we can easily solve this type of problems So in that algorithm I will explain first step what is the step 1 From the given integrand, write a x plus b in terms of c x plus d. So how we can write a x plus b in terms of c x plus d? See here, I will give you one relation. a x plus b is equal to lambda into c x plus d plus mu. Here lambda and mu are real numbers. So we need to find this lambda value and mu value. So this is the first step. a x plus b. should write in terms of cx plus d then how to find the lambda value and mu value here see here next one step 2 in step 2 we are going to find the unknown values lambda and mu so to find the value of lambda and mu equating the coefficients of like powers of x from the equation which we discussed in the first step on both sides So, if you equate the corresponding coefficients on both sides, then we will get the lambda value and mu value. Then, after getting the lambda value and mu value, we can express a x plus b in terms of lambda into c x plus d plus mu. Now, after completing the second step, that means after finding the lambda value and mu value, we can go for step three. So, in step three, what we are going to do? In the given integrand, we have a x plus b. In a x plus b place, we have to replace lambda into c x plus d plus a mu term. So, if you replace a x plus b with lambda into c x plus d plus mu, then what you will get? See here, integral a x plus b into over root c x plus d into d x is equal to integral. Just now I am substituting here a x plus b term, lambda into c x plus d plus mu. Into over root c x plus d d x. Now, if we observe the right side part of integrand, we have product of two terms. If you multiply both the terms, then what you will get? See in the next step, integral lambda into c x plus d into over root c x plus d plus mu into over root c x plus d d x. Now here. Root of c x plus d is nothing but c x plus d whole power one by two. So in the next step, I am going to write that one. So integral lambda into c x plus d into c x plus d whole power one by two plus mu into c x plus d whole power one by two d x. So c x plus d into c x plus d whole power one by two is nothing but c x plus d whole power three by two because If bases are equal, power should be added. At the same time, I am going to apply individual integrals by using the basic properties of indefinite integrals. Then, in the next step, what we will get? See here, lambda into integral c x plus d whole power three by two d x plus 
म्यू इंटू इंटीग्रल सी एक्स प्लस डी होल पवर वन बै टू डी एक्स सो आलि वी हव डिस्कड सम बेसि फार्मुलास्वियस् क्लास सो वि नो वाट इज द इंटिग्रेशन आफ् ए एक्स प्लस बी होल पवर एंड डी एक्स सो बेस्ड ऑन दट फार्मुलाइल रईट नेक्स्ट टेम सो सी हियर लैमडा इंटू सी एक्स प्लस डी होल पवर फै बै टू बै फै बै टू इंटू सी प्लस म्यू इंटू सी एक्स प्लस डी होल पवर थ्री बै टू बै थ्री बै टू इंटू सी प्लस कैपिटल सी हियर दिस कैपिटल सी इज द इंटीग्रल कॉन्स्टेंट सो जस्ट ई अप्लाइड हियर इंटीग्रल ए एक्स प्लस बी होल पवर एंड डी एक्स फार्मुला सो बेस्ड ऑन दट फार्मुला ओनली ई रोड दिस स्टेप सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफ दिस वन दैन वाट यू गेट सी इन द नेक्स्ट स्टेप टू लैमडा बै फाइव सी इंटू सी एक्स प्लस डी होल पवर फै बै टू प्लस टू म्यू बै थ्री सी इंटू सी एक्स प्लस डी होल पवर थ्री बै टू प्लस सी सो इफ द गिवेन इंटीग्रेंट इज इन द फॉर्म आफ इंटीग्रल ए एक्स प्लस बी इंटू ओवर रूट सी एक्स प्लस डी डी एक्स दिस इज द प्रोसेस इन स्टेप थ्री वाट वी डिस्कस दिस इज द प्रोसेस टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रेशन आफ द फस्ट इंटीग्रेंट so by using same step 1 step 2 we will solve the second part of integration also so the second part means integral ax plus b by over root cx plus d dx so i will explain this part in the next slide here we will discuss second integral part so based on the step 1 step 2 concept the numerator part of given integrand can be written as lambda into cx plus d plus mu So, if you write the step here, then what you will get? See here, integral a x plus b by over root c x plus d into d x is equal to integral lambda into c x plus d plus mu by over root c x plus d d x. Now, divide each term of numerator with the denominator term. Then what you will get? See here in the next step, integral. Lambda into c x plus d by over root c x plus d plus mu by over root c x plus d d x. By using basic properties of indefinite integrals, I am going to apply individual integrals. Then what you will get? See here in the next step. Lambda into integral c x plus d by over root c x plus d d x plus mu into integral one by over root c x plus d d x. We know that x by root x can be written as root x. So based on that basic knowledge, the next step can be written as lambda into integral over root c x plus d d x plus mu into integral one by over root c x plus d d x. We know the standard formulas: integral x power n d x and integral one by root x d x. So by applying these two formulas, we will get next step. See here. Lambda into c x plus d whole power three by two by c into three by two plus mu into two into over root of c x plus d by c plus c. So if we simplify this one, then what you will get? See here in the next step, two lambda by three c into c x plus d whole power three by two plus two mu by c into c x plus d whole power one by two plus c. Here, capital C is the integral constant. Just I applied the standard formulas here to get this answer. So this is the actual process or proper algorithm to evaluate the integrals if it is in this form. In previous video, we have already discussed first model. So now we will discuss about second model. Let us discuss one problem based on second model. See here, question number four. Evaluate integral 8x plus 13 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. So this problem is in the form of integral ax plus b by over root cx plus d dx. So already we have discussed in algorithm how to solve this type of modal questions. So now let us discuss solution of this one. First of all, I will consider the given integral as capital I. Then let I is equal to integral 8x plus 13 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. 
As per given concept, which we discussed in the algorithm, let us take 8x plus 13 is equal to lambda into 4x plus 7 plus mu. If we multiply the right side part, then what you will get? See here, 8x plus 13 is equal to 4 lambda x plus 7 lambda plus mu. So here, just we applied first step, which we discussed in algorithm. Now, what is the second step? In the second step, our target is how to find the value of lambda and mu. See here, on comparing the coefficient of like powers of x on both sides, what we will get? 4 lambda is equal to 8 and 7 lambda plus mu is equal to 13. What I did here? Just I compared the corresponding coefficients. That means the coefficient of x and the constant term from both sides I compared. That implies lambda is equal to 8 by 4 and mu is equal to 13 minus 7 lambda. That means lambda is equal to 2 this lambda value, if we substitute in the second equation, mu is equal to 13 minus 7 into 2. If we simplify this one, then lambda is equal to 2 and mu is equal to minus 1. So, finally, we got lambda value and mu value also. So, we completed second step. If we substitute these lambda and mu values in this equation, then what you will get? 8x plus 13 is equal to 2 times of 4x plus 7 minus 1. Now, we will substitute this 8x plus 13 value in the given integrand. Then what you will get? Now, i is equal to integral 2 times of 4x plus 7 minus 1 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. So, just I substituted 8x plus 13 value on numerator part of given integrand. Now, divide each term of numerator with denominator. Then what we will get? See here in the next step. Integral 2 times of 4x plus 7 by over root 4x plus 7 minus 1 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. Now, by using basic properties of indefinite integrals, I am going to apply individual integrals. Then what you will get? See here in the next step. 2 times of integral 4x plus 7 by over root 4x plus 7 dx minus integral 1 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. If you see here, x by root x can be written as root x. So based on this basic knowledge, we can get the next step. See here, 2 times of integral over root 4x plus 7 dx minus integral 1 by over root 4x plus 7 dx. We know the standard formulas integral ax plus b whole power n dx and integral 1 by root x dx. If we apply these standard formulas, then what you will get? See here in the next step 2 times of 4x plus 7 whole power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 into 4 minus 2 into over root 4x plus 7 by 4 plus c. Here capital C is the integral constant. If we simplify this one, then what we will get? See here in the next step. 1 by 3 into 4x plus 7 whole power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 into 4x plus 7 whole power 1 by 2 plus c. So, we completed third step also. So, this is the final answer for the given integral. I hope you understand. So, based on this problem, I will give you two problems for self-practice. See here, question number 5 and question number 6. So, pause the video and solve these two problems. If you do not get the idea to solve this problem, watch this problem again which we discussed till now. To get the notifications of our latest update, please subscribe our channel and activate bell icon. Thank you for watching this video. Drop a like and share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.